this little boy, Amaya, uh, what's his name? Amaya Amari Nicholson. Oh my gosh. I watched the 20 something minute, 20 something minute interview with the mom, Taylor Nicholson and mom's boyfriend, um, Terrell, not Trezell, but Terrell Rhodes from Las Vegas. That boyfriend was a lion. That mom was a lion. And I don't even know what happened yet, but I know that mom was not being honest. And the boyfriend had to walk away from the situation because he didn't know how to react and how to answer some of those questions. He kept hanging his head low. He kept saying words that didn't make sense exactly. Using past presence. I was going to tell her why. You know, certain things like that. I'm just, just... Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm going to kind of dabble in that case just a bit and see what I think. That could be Mary. That could be. Exactly, Jay Stella. Exactly. They are in a dangerous environment. Dangerous. What's done in the dark always comes to the light. And you know what? When I watched that interview with Taylor and Terrell, I saw darkness. Darkness. Scary Larry and Barry are predators. I love it. Absolutely 100%. Amari, thank you, Tracy. Yeah, they're not telling the whole story. There's something there that is not right. And it's not just because mom got mad at her boyfriend and said, someone's going to pull up. Okay. That's what she was saying. Somebody's going to pull up and whoop your ass is what she was saying because they were fighting. And she told him somebody was going to pull up. So for him to say, oh, I thought when the woman knocked on the door at six o'clock in the morning, saying that she was there for Amari and Amari and Terrell were already awake at three o'clock in the morning, or I mean at six o'clock in the morning and he had already fed. Amari breakfast, the two-year-old was up and fed at 6 a.m. Bullshit. Sorry, bullshit. <laughs> and has anybody heard if they pulled the footage from the um, hotel yet to see if there really was anybody knocking on that door at 6 in the morning? It is. It's that little boy is adorable, and his his aunt, his bio bio dad's sister. She was the only one that was being a hundred percent honest in her interview. Even bio dad, I got a bad vibe from him too. When I saw him in a white suit with a white shirt with a white tie out there on the streets of Vegas, passing out missing person flyers, why was he dressed up like he was going to a freaking party on a yacht? And he was King Pimp. Why was he dressed like that to pass out flyers about his missing child? And mom said that the bio dad has only seen and been around Amari one time in his two and a half years of life. Jennifer, I wish that that would help my shoulder, but honestly, I've. My right shoulder, I've had this problem for probably about 12 years now, and I've babied it, and I've put it off as long as I can to now, to, I'm to the point where it hurts to wash my hair. I I heard that, that Terrell is her pimp, but did you see her neck has a king crown with Terrell's name underneath it? Oh, wait, there's like six new... Six new ones popped up since we've been on this live interviews with grandma. Okay, now grandma's name is Carrie. I, I watched Slim Hoffa has been posting shit. If you are not subscribed to Slim Hoffa yet, go subscribe to Slim Hoffa's channel because she has been sharing a lot of stuff. She spoke to Carrie, Taylor's mom. Taylor's mom bought two plane tickets for Taylor and Amari to come out and stay with her so that Taylor could take care of her because she got attacked by a dog. And I guess it was a bad attack. Okay. Um, Amari didn't come with Taylor. And Taylor said she was supposed to fly out Wednesday, one week 
before they reported Amari missing. And she asked for a couple more days. So her mom paid $120 extra to change the date of the ticket to Friday or the tickets to Friday. It cost almost $300 total, she said. And when Taylor came, she did not bring Amari. Me too, Sophie. It worries me. It worries me a lot. Oh, Gemini girl, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. They didn't see anyone. Nina had some footage from the gas station. I caught Nina for a second yesterday before I went live. And he asked me to do a spirit box session for Amari. So that's why I looked further into it because I wanted to kind of get a little bit of a feel for the situation before I do the session. But I, I told him that I would do it with him. So I do want to go over next time he goes live about Amari. And I tried to do it yesterday, but he was on RealStream and I don't know how to use RealStream. I set up an account so that I could go up on his panel, but then he ended the stream because he couldn't see the chat. And then I waited for him to come back on and I ended up going to do something else like a half hour later because he still wasn't on yet. So we missed each other. That's right. Hashtag orange is the new camo. Oh, Robin. Hi, Robin. And I hope that that's not true either. Exactly. At least 7, 8, 9 a.m. I don't know any two-year-old that's going to get up and already have breakfast by 6 a.m. I just don't know. Apparently, so that's a rumor, Sophie. We don't know for a fact about the cameras yet, right? Mary, I have not had the cortisone injections in my shoulder. I had them multiple times in my back for my low back, for my extra vertebrae in my spine. And yes, mom has an OnlyFans page and she was active on her OnlyFans page just a couple days after her son was missing. That's what I'm thinking too, Cat's Eye. And Bruce, I'm not I'm not judging them. I'm just giving my um I'm giving my observation, my my gut feeling that I'm getting just from the little bits of information that I that I've seen. And that's why I was really clear. Like I don't know for a fact about anything. I watched the interview with mom and the boyfriend. I saw the screenshots that Slim Hopper shared that Carrie had put on Facebook and messages between the, the two of them, because I guess Slim reached out to Carrie. And um, and I saw just the bits and pieces of the dad. I think I've seen two of the news videos about it, and that's it. But I can tell you, the bio dad's sister is the only one that I got authentic, genuine concern from. And she, if I'm not mistaken, isn't she the one that put up the reward or has said that she was offering the reward money? Is that the, the person that put up the 30000 They'll Yeah, I'm sure that they'll probably make me do the injections before surgery. Like, you know, insurance has that. Or that nothing has been confirmed about the cameras yet. But I know they said that there's cameras everywhere. It's in the, it's in Vegas, you know, like there's cameras at every stoplight. There's cameras on every business, multiple cameras, different angles. So even if the hotel cameras weren't working and why did mom keep saying the apartment? Well, I've heard everybody else refer to the embassy suites as a hotel. Is it a hotel or is it an apartment complex? Does anybody know? Collagen and hydraulic acid. Collagen and hydraulic acid. Well, I'll tell you what I've been using. Hotel being turned into a temporary living situation. Kind of like the Cecil in LA. Hi, Jubes. Okay. So that's that was why she was maybe calling it the apartment. Mom is 21. Right, yeah. She's doing the OnlyFans page and... Um, Slim Hoffa has the page on a video. Gold injections. Um,
Okay, sorry, I was trying to read all the comments here. Yes, you must try it. Try it. Try it. I promise you. I When I first tried it, it was almost a year ago. This is my second tub of it. And I sh and they, they even have stuff for animals. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Um, who is Dee Dee? Oh, you it's, okay? So you take the supplements and you don't have to use the lotion at all. That's what the channel is called, Dee Dee's channels or Dee Dee's channel. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Thank you, Cat's Eye. Desiree, we're talking about Amari Nicholson, the two-year-old that just vanished by his imaginary bio dad sister. I mean, mom was like very adamant that it was bio dad sister that came over there, but boyfriend, boyfriend wasn't really like, I feel like mom came up with the story because it would work. Bio dad hasn't been around. He I told him he had to try to be a dad. Well, he tried to get him for Christmas, but we had already made plans. I, I just can't send my baby off with a stranger, but he's been trying, you know, like he, he's called and stuff, but we just haven't been able to hook up and, you know, okay. So what are we talking about here? Has, has bio dad been trying to see the son and you've been telling him no, because it's not convenient for you, but now you're bashing him and saying that his sister came and stole your child because you kept telling him no. But you were saying, no, he couldn't see the baby unless he built a relationship with the baby. But every time he tried to build a relationship with the baby, you told him no. Like, that part was really confusing. Okay, then, um, what was the other part? The, okay, when the boyfriend was telling what happened, he was all over his words, like, bad, back and forth. Like I said, he said, I was going to tell her why, which he meant to say, I was going to ask her why, or I was going to, I was going to ask her if, okay. She said they got into an argument because Terrell was mad that she was still in Colorado with her mom and wanted her to come home to be with them. They got into an argument. He poked the bear. She knows how to poke the bear back. So she told him somebody was going to pull up. Well, the news guy was like, I have no idea what you mean. What she meant was she was threatening him saying, I'm going to have someone pull up on your ass. So she was basically, in my opinion, correct me if I'm wrong. When you say somebody's going to pull up, doesn't that mean that somebody's going to pull up and whoop your ass? Isn't that the street lingo? That was my interpretation of that. So if you're going to pull up, somebody's going to pull up on you. But she didn't say who it was. And she didn't say when they were coming and she didn't say why they were coming. So when this woman appears at the door at six o'clock in the morning, I mean, he could have said, you know, me and the baby were asleep and he didn't. He said they were already awake and he had already fed the baby breakfast, but he was laying back down in bed and the baby was playing with his toys at six in the morning. And somebody knocks on the door and he answers the door. She stood in the doorway the whole time, according to the mom. While the boyfriend was getting the baby's things together to make a bag for him to go with her while he's trying to call mom to make sure that this is who was supposed to pull up. Bullshit. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, right. And they said that the, the bio family was stalking them. They didn't know the apartment number that they lived in. Or the hotel room number or whatever it was. They didn't know the, the number. So that means that they had to have been stalking them to find out which room they were in. Mm -hmm. But yet the bio aunt, who she's accusing of stealing the baby, gave everything to law enforcement. Down to their ring doorbell camera footage. Their phones. Everything. Mm-hmm. She was the only one that had authentic emotion and authentic answers, in my opinion. So that, that will be a case that I am kind of dibbling, dabbling into, and we'll see where we go from there. But for now, I got to end the stream, you guys. I got to go figure out what we're going to do for dinner.
I got to go help my baby with his homework. So I got to roll. Yeah, looked wasted. Yeah, he didn't look straight. He looked either tired or he looked like he didn't want to be seen. He kept putting his head down. And when he was telling the story, did you see mom looking at him? Go back and watch it again. Go back and watch the way mom was looking at the boyfriend when the boyfriend was telling the story. And then look at mom. If mom has been so distraught, because that's the word she kept saying, distraught. If mom was so distraught and crying and screaming and upset that her baby is gone and she just wants her baby home, they're all upset. They're, she almost reminded me of Jackie. We're all going through it. Her eyes were not red. Her eyes were not swollen. Her face did not look like she had been crying a single tear, in my opinion. So I think that there's more to mom's story. I think there's more to mom's boyfriend's story. I think bio dad is just looking to get rich and look like mega dad because he hasn't been around the baby. And that's, he has like four other kids or something. Yes, right, Mary, the death look. Thank you. I think this happened four months ago, and this is just happening to children. And I still want to say exactly, Jay Stella. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're going to end it right there. I want to remind you again, the numbers are on the screen if you need to jot them down, if you feel it necessary to call Chula Vista Police Department or Chula Vista Child Protection Service. Right, she was on right. Yes, she was saying, I know this sounds made up. I know everybody's calling for Lillian. Mm -hmm. Yep, just like Tr Trizel said, they really do love to wrestle. They really do love to get rough with each other. Setting it up. Setting it up. 8, 9, 10, or 11 p.m., depending on what time zone you're in. California, 8 p.m. All From the West Coast at 8 p.m. all the way over to the East Coast at 11 p.m. Oh, it's 4 a.m. if it's the U.K.? Oh, goodness. I'm sorry, Sophie. <laughs> All right, I love you guys bunches. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We have covered a lot today. This is going to be one hell of a stream. I may have to go back and record parts of the stream to upload it so that people can see it because I don't know how many people will sit through a six-hour and 45-minute live stream on a rewatch.